The United Kingdom's new Labour government is seeking deeper military ties with Germany and France, in part because of fears that a Trump government in the US will negatively impact European security. As reported by Politico, the UK and Germany have strong concerns regarding Donald Trump's intentions vis-à-vis Europe as a whole and Ukraine in particular. These concerns have increased since Trump has chosen his running mate, J.D. Vance, who repeatedly stresses his opposition to the U.S. writing what he has called blank checks to help Kyiv fight off the Russian invasion. With its new government, the U.K. has become more enthusiastic about forging deeper defence cooperation with European allies than its Conservative predecessor and moved quickly to sign a cooperation deal with Germany on Wednesday the 24th of July. The deal commits both sides to ramp up industrial coordination and joint operations while trailing much more to come. These visits send a clear message that European security will be this government's first foreign and defence priority, British Defence Minister John Healy said in a statement. His German counterpart chimed in by saying that We want to strengthen our arms industry. We want to work more closely together in the development, production and procurement of weapons and ammunition. While the deal won't mark an immediate sea change in relations between the two armies and defence ministries, it does commit both sides to start standardising their weapons systems and ammunition. The Russo-Ukrainian war and the differences in weaponry donated to Ukraine has underscored the extent to which Europe's defence industry is fractured. That's prompted Europe's big players to pledge to work more closely together, with the new British government indicating that it's willing to plug directly into those programmes. The UK and Germany are the top two European contributors to Ukraine when it comes to military aid and the biggest outright spenders on defence, committing 74.9 billion euros, about 81.21 billion dollars, and 66.8 billion euros, about 72.50 billion US dollars, respectively in 2023, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. In addition, Healy said that the objectives set out in Wednesday's joint declaration include strengthening UK and German defence industries, reinforcing Euro-Atlantic security, improving the efficiency of joint operations, confronting evolving security challenges such as the cyber domain, and supporting Ukraine. Yemen's Houthi militant group has attacked a container ship with Ukrainians on board near the Yemeni port city of Mocha in the Red Sea. The attack occurred on July 20, while the video footage from the incident circulated on Telegram app on July 23. Maritime News reported with reference to the United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations UKMTO, that the Houthis launched two drone attacks on the container ship. The first attack was launched with the use of an unmanned aerial vehicle that exploded in the immediate vicinity of the ship, causing minor damage. The second attack on the ship was carried out by a surface unmanned vehicle, which also exploded in close proximity to the ship. The ship and the crew members were safe after the attack. A security officer later reported that a missile had been spotted, passing the vessel and hitting the water near the vessel. The UKMTO urged all ships to transit the sea with caution and to report any suspicious activity. Meanwhile, Reuters news agency reported with reference to a maritime security source that the attacked vessel was a Liberian-flagged container ship. Following the attack, it continued to maneuver at a maximum speed in order to escape. According to marine traffic data, the ship departed Jeddah, Saudi Arabia on July 18 and was scheduled to arrive at a port in Malaysia on July 28. Yes, fucking unmanned. 